Hello, in this video we are going to learn about some screen management tips. My name is Amy Holt. I am a 1706 front-end alum. I used to teach on both the front-end and back-end teams, but now I teach tricoding, which is super fun. Um, and I love finding ways to be more efficient. And so I signed up to create this video for y'all. I hope you find it helpful. Um, if you need any help or have questions on any of this, feel free to reach out to me on Slack. My handle is AIMZ. So what is screen management? This is all about coordinating all of the applications on our computer at a given time so that we can maximize our time, travel between applications quickly, um, and just again kind of maximize the screen space that we have available. And developing these screen management habits may feel kind of challenging um, or not important right now. You may feel like I can move around my computer quick enough, I'm good, um, but it really is important as a developer to establish a professional workflow and that may look a little different from how you've previously used a computer. And so it is important to really work to develop some of these habits. Today we are going to cover some essential keyboard shortcuts and some tips on how to set up your machine and browser just for efficiency and to kind of maximize the space that you have. And so we'll start with keyboard shortcuts. The, the goal of keyboard shortcuts is to allow us to navigate around our machine quicker. And within the next couple of months, you should be in the place with these that you don't have to use the trackpad on your computer at all. Okay, that may sound alarming if you use it a lot right now, that's okay. Um, we'll walk you through it. But we wanna start getting on that path of not relying on the trackpad, but be able to just keep our fingers on the keyboard all the time and navigate around with that. And so we're going to really briefly walk through um, three kind of sets of keyboard shortcuts. First, Command Tab, which will let us travel around between applications quickly. And then Command with a combination of T or W to move around tabs. And then the Command Option shortcuts that let us use Spectacle. So let's talk about Command Tab. When I use the Command Tab keyboard shortcut just once, it'll take me to my most recent application. So I can go back and forth between Slack and Atom really quickly. If I wanna to go to another application that's open, I can hit Command and then Tab, but I'm gonna hold Command down still. And then I'll see a list with the icons of every application that I currently have opened. And from here, I can tap Tab again to take scoot over to Google Chrome, Next, Next, okay. And that'll open whatever application was selected when I released the command key. If you have several applications up though, sometimes it's easier to use command tab and then the left or right arrows because that way you can travel left or right and sometimes just feels faster by using that um, the arrow keys with your right hand. One thing that I do want to point out is with Atom, I'm going to use this yellow button to minimize Atom and then with command tab, try to go back to Atom. Notice that that didn't pop up. Atom is still actively open, but since I've minimized it, it doesn't get to participate in the command tab. For that reason, I would recommend that you avoid using the any of these buttons up in the top corner of any application and just rely on command tab. If you want to completely close out of an application, uh, you can use command Q and that'll completely close out of the application and it won't appear anymore in your menu of options. The next set of shortcuts I'd like to talk to you about will help you out as you navigate your browser. Um, so once you're in the Google Chrome browser, we can use Command W to close a tab, tab you're currently selected on, or Command T to open a new blank tab, which can be really helpful. We can also use keyboard shortcuts to move around between different tabs within the browser. We can use command shift bracket to move left and then the command shift closing bracket to move right throughout different tabs in the browser, which can really again speed you up. And lastly, I want to show you some of the keyboard shortcuts that come with Spectacle. So Spectacle is some software that you can and should download um, that allows you to move and resize windows with ease, as it says here. Um, so you can go to spectacleapp.com to download this application. And you do need to have it open and running to 
utilize the features it provides. And so you would do that by typing spectacle into the finder, click enter, and it'll be opened up and ready to go. From here, I can, let's travel over to Slack and let's say that I only want Slack to take up half of my screen, the left half. So I'll use command option left arrow to send Slack over to the left side of my screen. And then from Google Chrome, I'll use command option right arrow to send that over to the right side of my screen. Um, considering my normal workflow, I usually don't need to be seeing Slack and Chrome at the same time, but something I do need to see is both my code in Atom and my terminal at the same time. So let's say we had some work up here that we wanted to look at in terminal in the Atom and then be able to run my code or update in my Git repository from my terminal down here. And so I just used some keyboard shortcuts with Spectacle. So to get the Atom application to take up the top about two thirds of the screen, I used command option up arrow. And this will kind of toggle you through different sizes of the top half. So that was the top third, this is the top half, and this is the top two thirds. And then for the terminal application, I use command option down arrow, down arrow, down arrow to size it down here. This is kind of a common setup for when you're writing code and then going down to check your what's in your terminal. That's kind of just the beginning of what a Spectacle can do for you, but I think that's a great start for now if you're comfortable using command option and then any of the arrow buttons. Before we wrap up, I want to just give you a couple of organizational tips to leave you with. Um, and for your overall screen, I would really recommend that you limit the number of applications running. When I was using command tab, um, you notice that the more applications we have, the more times we have to click tab or the arrows. And so really limiting the number of applications you run can help you be more efficient. Um, down the road when you're building bigger applications, it'll also be important to just let your computer do its very best with a few things. Next, I would really recommend hiding the dock to maximize your screen space so that the bottom half an inch or inch or so isn't taken up by those dock icons. You can do that with the command option D shortcut. I would also recommend that you turn off the hot corners, which is usually a default setting on Macs, I believe. Um, this is when you swipe your mouse up to the corner and maybe see your notifications come up or see the screen of all the things you could click on show up. That's not really necessary. Um, and, it, and it tends to be very distracting and kind of confusing when you start pairing with other people who don't have those settings. And so when you're screen sharing on Zoom or plugging into a monitor to pair um, side by side with another person, we like to kind of set up our computers to have minimal distractions so we can focus on our work together. And then some browser specific tips is you can pin tabs in Google Chrome. If you right click any tab, you can have the option to pin it. And that's something you might wanna do with like your Mod Zero curriculum page, for example, and it'll always be available to you. Every time you open up Chrome, it'll already be there. It's kind of like a bookmark, but even more convenient of a bookmark. Um, and on the topic of bookmarks, recommending that you use that file system. So if you have 10 personal bookmarks and 10 personal or 10 coding bookmarks and then a few more um, random links, this feel really helpful. Suddenly you have so many bookmarks going across the top of your browser that you have to waste some time like sorting through which one you want. And so using that folder system within the bookmarks can help you really quickly say, okay, I want a personal link, go to my recipes, there I am. Turing link, Mod Zero curriculum, there I am. So those are the tips I leave you all with. Um, I hope you have fun getting familiar with some of these keyboard shortcuts. It's a journey, but you've got to start somewhere and I think you're doing great. Thank you.